Okay, so I felt like doing another one of these um, videos where I do a picking in, in a row. This time we have all our laminated padlocks that we have at the moment. Um, different makes and whatever, mainly Master. And then we have an Avis and a Yale. I don't think we're going to get this one open, so we'll leave him till last just because, well. Yeah, I chose I chose a really difficult bitting on this one. Two there are two overset traps, so I haven't picked it at all. So I doubt I'm going to get it on camera, but yeah, we'll have a go anyway. We'll leave them till last. So what were we using? We're using different hooks and so on. So obviously the first laminated padlock is a it's a warded lock. This thing can be a bit of an ass to try and pick. Mainly because I haven't taken uh, its key, this is its key here. I haven't taken the key and turned it into a skeleton key that will work on all the masters. Um, 22s, but it is what it is. And now I just have to try and lock this freaking thing up. Eh. Really doesn't want to. There we go. Temperamental. So here's our skeleton keys. This one seems to do the best for me. Except I have to kind of pull on the shackle a bit and then wiggle this thing around. Get that stupid wire. It's a wire that holds that shackle in. But even though this pick does the job. I think there's another wire on the other side, on the shackle side that holds it in there. So I kind of have to wiggle it both ways a bit and hope that I can convince this thing to open. Let's flip it around and see if we can Let go. See, I can see inside this padlock there is a, a wire on the one end, as I think is cleared. <clears throat> but this freaking thing doesn't want to let it come out. Let's try this one here. Don't think it's going to work. Normally, you see it just free, spins freely. I think that one would do the job, but it doesn't, so we have to use this one. I think it's because it's wider on the end. There we go, we have to kind of kind of like push up like that to get it out the way. Oof. 